Hydrocortisone is a glucocorticoid used to treat corticosteroid-responsive dermatoses, endocrine disorders, immune conditions, and allergic disorders. In this video, let's find found. What is hydrocortisone? What class of drug is hydrocortisone? What is hydrocortisone used to treat? Who cannot use hydrocortisone? What are the side effects of taking hydrocortisone? How does hydrocortisone make you feel? How to use hydrocortisone? What is hydrocortisone? What class of drug is hydrocortisone? Hydrocortisone is the name for the hormone cortisol when supplied as a medication. Uses include conditions such as adrenocortical insufficiency, adrenogenital syndrome, high blood calcium, thyroiditis, rheumatoid arthritis, titus, asthma, and COPD. It is the treatment of choice for adrenocortical insufficiency. Hydrocortisone was patented in 1936 and approved for medical use in 1941. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. It is available as a genetication. In 2020, it was the 149th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 3 million prescriptions. What is hydrocortisone used to treat? Otic solutions are indicated for infections of the external auditory canal, caused by susceptible organisms, and with inflammation. Hydrocortisone tablets are indicated for certain endocrine, rheumatic, collagen, allergic, ophthalmic, respiratory, hematologic, neistic, edematous, gastrointestinal, and other conditions. A hydrocortisone enema is indicated for ulcerative colitis, a topical ointment with antibiotics is indicated for corticosteroid-responsive dermatoses with infections, and a topical cream with acyclovir is indicated to treat cold sores. Granules of hydrocortisone are used as a replacement therapy for adrenocortical insufficiency, AI, in children under 17 years of age. Who cannot use hydrocortisone? Hydrocortisone is contraindicated in patients with a history of hypersensitivity to the product or any of its constituent ingredients, patients with tuberculosis or fungal infection and or herpes infections of the eyes, lips, or genitals. What are the side effects of taking hydrocortisone? The more common side effects of hydrocortisone include Headaches Muscle weakness Skin problems such as acne or thin, shiny skin. Pharmacodynamics. Hydrocortisone binds to the glucocorticoid receptor leading to downstream effects such as inhibition of phospholipase A2, NF-kappa B, other inflammatory transcription factors, and the promotion of anti-inflammatory genes. Hydrocortisone has a wide therapeutic index and a moderate duration of action. Patients should stop taking the medication if irritation or sensitization occurs. How does hydrocortisone work? The short-term effects of corticosteroids are decreased vasodilation and permeability of capillaries, as well as decreased leukocyte migration to sites of inflammation. Corticosteroids, binding to the glucocorticoid receptor mediates changes in gene expression that lead to multiple downstream effects for hours to days. Glucocorticoids inhibit neutrophil apoptosis and demargination, they inhibit phospholipase A2, which decreases the formation of arachidonic acid derivatives, they inhibit NF-kappa B and other inflammatory transcription factors, they promote anti-inflammatory genes like interleukin-10. Lower doses of corticosteroids provide an anti-inflammatory effect, while higher doses are immunosuppressive. High doses of glucocorticoids for an extended period bind to the mineralocorticoid receptor, raising sodium levels and decreasing potassium levels. Half-life Total hydrocortisone via the oral route has a half-life of 2.15 H, while the free fraction has a half-life of 1.39 H. How to use hydrocortisone? Inflammation 20 to 240 mg POQ day 100 to 500 mg slash dose 4 slash imq2 hr q4 hr or q6 hr status asthmaticus 1 to 2 mg kg for q6 hr initially for 24 hours maintenance 0.5 to 1 mg slash kg q6 hr acute adrenal crisis off label 100 mg for bolus 
then 200 mg over 24 hours by continuous infusion or device 6HR, then 100 mg over 24 hours the following day. When patient is stabilized, 50 mg PO Q8HR for 6 doses, then tapered to 30 to 50 mg slash day PO in divided doses. Chronic adrenal insufficiency. 15 to 25 slash day PO divided Q8 12 HR. COVID-19, off-label. NIH guidelines recommend corticosteroids, preferably dexamethasone, to reduce mortality in hospitalized patients with COVID-19 disease who are receiving either invasive mechanical ventilation or oxygen alone, but not among those receiving respiratory support. If dexamethasone is unavailable, use alternate glucocorticoids, for example, prednisone, methylprednisolone, or hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone 160 mg PO slash 4 Q day for up to 10 days or discharge, whichever comes first, use in addition to of care. Consider hydrocortisone use as follows. Supplement oxygen, but not requiring oxygen delivery through high flow device, non-invasive ventilation, invasive mechanical ventilation, or ECMO. Requires oxygen delivery through high flow device or non-invasive ventilation. Requires invasive mechanical ventilation or ECMO. Are there specific concerns about hydrocortisone and pregnancy? Pregnancy category C. There are no adequate and well-controlled studies in pregnant women. Hydrocortisone acetate suppositories should only be used during pregnancy if the potential benefit justifies the risk of the fetus. That's all the information about hydrocortisone we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.